Hey guys, what's up? Anginoff here. So, a while back I created a video on how to mod Spider-Man 2000 for the PC. And uh, I said I was going to make a part 2, but I uh, never really got around to it. So uh, yeah, here we are. Part 2, baby. So assuming you've seen the first video, there there is a tool called the PKR3 Editor. And this is basically the main tool of modern the PC version. So if you don't have it, I will leave a link in the description for it. So yeah, let's begin. So first on open PKR3 and go to your Spider-Man directory. I actually like to keep a spare one for modern so I don't fuck up my original game. So here we have a, quite a few folders which each contain different parts of the game. So the first folder, which is just data, contains the BMP files such as the such as the um, level covers and the title screen. Cat files, not too sure what they are, just gonna leave those alone. PSH files, they are not mandatory when swapping files, just go leave them alone, they're quite useless. PSX files, now they are really the main file for swapping, well, files. They contain the models, textures, and animations of an object, character, or map. So, like, this Carnage PSX contains everything related to Carnage, except it's actual, like, AI. These L1A1, L1A3, etc., these are the files for the maps, and I will go in depth with them in, a, in another tutorial. These SP text files, they are the PS1 textures, but they, they are not compatible with the PC version unless you are using a, um, unless you are using that strange version that Chris managed to unlock. So yeah, just kind of leave those alone. The actual PC costumes are here. So like, SP Bagman, Spidey, SP Parker, Quick Change Spidey, Ben Relay, Riley, whatever, um, Scarlet Spider, and Symbiote Spider-Man, so all those are here. Oh, I forgot, um, the actual HUD icons, where are they? Yeah, these HUD icons, like, cost, cost bag, cost armor, black suit, yeah, um, don't try swap these around because because basically you're almost 100% gonna get a glitch where it will show the original like default HUD when when you actually you swapped it for a different one. So yeah, just kind of like leave these alone. They're pretty broken. Now there's quite a few symbiote files. So this is like the symbiote base. Not, I'm pretty not sure what that is. That's the generator. I think I think I'm pretty sure these two are just like the exact same. Those are the bits like when it explodes like. And that's the blob bit. I'm not exactly what I can't remember exactly what part though. The P V R R G B A R L E S E Q S F X T E X files. I don't I don't know what they do. I I don't know how to edit them. So if unless you know what you're doing, don't try mess up these. You might mess up your whole game, so just leave that alone. Now the T R G files. These can be swapped easily. So let um I will get into. I will get, as I said, I will get into map stuff in, a, in another video. Okay, so that covers the data file. Now the audio file contains, well, the audio, so a bunch of the sound effects for the game, which are in a dot .wav format, so they're pretty simple to edit and mess around with. And fortunate enough, the PKR through editor has, has a way so you can actually listen to them without having to extract it. So let's just, let's see what this is. And that is the sound when Spider-Man throws a bomb in Stop the Bomb. Lowers contains the sorts of PS1 files. I'll explain what they are. So, Crystal Gamer found a way to access the PS1 version in the PC one. So, like, so like PS1 graphics. But I remember comparing them one day, like a really long time ago, and. I think they're slightly different from the final, so I don't. So these are not one. I I, re I remember comparing these with the final, and I don't think they're exactly the same. I think they're a little bit different. So these aren't exactly 100% the final PS1 files. I, I think they might be like 
near final beta release. The TI files, they, there's only BMPs here, so you can't edit these easily. Um, let me turn this on. So these are like the arrow keys, so you can change around something in the character viewer, the little icons. We have the mouse cursor. And then we have the unused mouse cursor, which was in Solid Snake 11's classic beta star mod. Um, I'm not too sure what these texture files are. One of them's a upside down Treyarch one. Yeah, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what that that says. I can't really. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's um, Omnitech. Uh, I think that's used in the um, Rhino level. Not to show what the off files are, just kind of leave those alone. Um, now these are the big files, which are the voice files for the game, and some and some music things like the main menu. So let's just extract this and see what this is. Desktop. <laughs> Not put anything on TV nowadays. Yep. So that is. Oh yeah. It's, to listen to big files, you need to have like a certain like audio video software, such as VOC Media Player. That works well. Or you can use the official big file thing, which is um which is some um, rad video tools. I will leave a link in the description for both tools. So yeah, that's basically almost all the files covered in, in the data file. Let's get into swapping them. Let's just do a simple swap. Like, uh, let's do. Hmm. Let's do symbiote. And let's replace them with the lizard men. She's got to extract this. So now, let's just delete Liz Lizardmen and add in the symbiote file to so symbiote.psx and rename it to Lizman. Voila, here is the new Lizardman file. So now that we've completed editing our PKR file, now I have to save it. So let's go to mod tester and then we can just override it and if you need to refresh it, just go to your clean one and replace it. Alright, so that's saved. Let's go test it out. Alright, it works. So if your game crashes after you replace your data file, that means that you have messed up something in it, like as if you deleted a file that you weren't meant to, or or you have two of the same file, then yeah, your game will crash and you'll have to fix it yourself. They are quite a bit broken, as you can see, but that is to be expected when doing model swaps like this. I'm already at full health. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next time.